Roy Keane is the best. Yeah. Cause <laughs> like he's, that. cause he's got credibility yeah. and he's another one. He literally doesn't care what people think. And he's not, when he does his punditry, he's not saying, what he says is, is most probably right, but it's just brutally honest. So people don't like that. Gary Neville as well is good, but I think what makes a good pundit is, is honesty and insight, you know? And even with, with what we're doing, like I say, with our, well, ask me anything, anyway. All I'm trying to give is honesty and insight from, because I've been at a level where I can give that insight. And I'm of a person, I'm an extrovert person. I don't mind giving my, my opinion on, on what I think. You know, and that's what I think with a pundit, what, what is important is that you're giving people insight from your so-called expertise. You know, like me, I, just, I literally watch it sometimes, the analyzing side of it just literally passes me by, I don't see it. And then all of a sudden I'll see one thing and it will just click me into what he done, triggered that, this and that. So then all of a sudden you say that and then you talk about the actual player. I like to talk about a player and how he's performing, why, why he isn't performing as well as he should be. Why did they score that goal? Because maybe the defender, and you know what I mean? But it's honesty. And then what happens is you find that uh, when I finish um, doing um, maybe an ITV game, you, you, your text messages has gone bang through the roof. And if you, you got, then because they say, yeah, good stuff, right? Good stuff tonight. Or some of them say, oh, you're talking rubbish. Then you go on the Twitter feed and go, you know what I mean? Good pun of your bad, but you get instant feedback. Um, but for me, honesty. Honesty and insight you've got to give people.